Welcome again friends in this video we are going to talk about the DSB repair model or the double stranded brake repair model of uh, DNA recombination. Now this type of model of DNA recombination states us that DNA recombination is really handy during the repair of double stranded brakes. Now double stranded brake in between the DNA strands can be easily found in case of eukaryotic cell as well as the prokaryotic cell during the for a different round of replication and all these purposes uh, the DNA strand can be broken then we have to uh, fix this uh, thing and we can fix this by only doing the recombination why because the recombination if we do the recombination process that means that we ensure that none of the genetic materials are lost so if we are doing any other type of thing for example if there is a DNA double stranded break like this in between uh, it some part are gone some part of the sequence are gone we cannot achieve them if we ligate or if you try to ligate them or if you try to synthesize those strands with different enzymes but we can do these things we can conserve the sequence what was in at the previous time present here uh, by by recombining it with another DNA of its homologue right so that's why again between the homologous DNA we can do this double stranded brake repair model okay so that's a very very important tool now <coughs> if we think about the procedure of double stranded uh, brake repair model of DNA recombination we must begin with the state where one of this DNA is cut in both of its strands now if we think about uh, the difference between this DSB model with uh, the homo or with the reg BCD model or normal uh, holiday junction model uh, we can find in holiday junction model we can see the single stranded nick it at each of the DNA's uh, each of the strand uh, of the DNA of the homologous pair but in this case we are looking at double stranded break in one of the DNA's right now what will begin right up the, the, after this nick will start of chewing the segment of nucleotide sequences from both the ends from 5 prime to 3 prime ends as well as from 3 prime to 5 prime end now if I take a color I can demonstrate it further now here you can see though so this is the 5 prime that means this is 3 prime and this is uh, this is the 5 prime so this is again 3 prime so these are and this is the 5 prime right sorry uh, yeah this is the 5 prime okay now if we look at this uh, we can see that both of this uh, nucleotide sequence which were previously been in this these positions are being chewed uh, chewed out by different enzymes uh, but the ultimate goal is to produce a 3 prime overhang now why is uh, we are going to produce a 3 prime overhang remember the 3 prime overhang will produce a hydroxyl it provide the hydroxyl now this hydroxyl group is a very very important part to synthesize new new DNA strands via the DNA polymers or, or enzymes like DNA polymers okay so that's why you need 3 prime hydroxyl so what what we'll do there are different sets of enzymes for example in case of uh, E. coli there are enzymes called REC B C D so there are three different enzymes REC B C and D they they are working uh, together to to produce this three prime overhangs now what they are doing they are actually chewing up both of the strands at a particular rate at a particular time at the same time now right after reaching it into a particular hot spot sequences which are called the chi square uh, sorry not chi square chi sequences sorry extremely for my extremely bad handwriting uh, my mouse is actually troubling me a lot now anyways it's called the chi site so uh, when it enters those chi site which are the instigator hotspot sequences of telling that this is the place to produce this 3 prime overhang they start to stop the chewing of those strands from the 3 prime to 5 prime direction Remember, they stop uh, chewing out or they stop exonuclease from 3 prime to 5 prime, but they still exonucleating uh, 5 prime to 3 prime strands, right? So right after that, what they produce, they produces uh, a 5 prime 3 prime, which is smaller, and a 3 prime 5 prime, which is larger. Okay. So this uh, is a very very important step, which is totally new in case of this DSV repair model than that of. Uh, than that of uh, holiday junction model okay so right after that what will happen uh, the strand invasion as uh, like the holiday junction model now both of the strands will come and it will invade into a particular place and it will check whether there is a complementary base uh, bases are there to pair with it or not if they found the complementary base they start to pair with themselves and and then the process will come 
when they start to produce the branch uh, and they start to migrate the branch now right after production of uh, these these uh, new strands which is denoted by this red color regions or sorry uh, orange color regions now right after producing this kind of structure where we can see two different holiday junctions in the same uh, recombination event now this two holiday junction can move they can move at a particular direction uh, so this direction is, is irrespective of all these things but they can move on now right after movement of all these holiday junctions we what we have known as uh, we know as uh, the branch migration this is another important step as we have seen in case of uh, the holiday junction model because this branch migration uh, uh, can ensures at which place at which position they are going to cleave and this branch migration is really important because branch migration is telling us from where uh, it is going to be cleaved and from where or what type of genes will be embedded into a particular DNA segment for example if it is uh, cleaved from this part here it will end end up with only caps B into in this uh, in this uh, upper DNA and small b in this lower DNA. Now, if it, if it goes further, if it go, goes further towards here and it will clip from this place, then it will not going to really receive uh, the whole uh, gene of caps B. It will receive a small segment of caps B that is not uh, at all wanted, right? So these things are really really important, and branch migration is really important uh, step in this case. And right after the branch migration, we'll be talking about the important step, which is called the resolution. Resolution means the strand separation, and this resolution is again creating the ultimate products. And remember again. Whatever we have talked about uh, those uh, those holiday junction model is true about this DSB repair model. That in a, again in the, that case, whatever you are doing in the intermediate step, at the end of the day, you must produce the number of DNA molecules you have started with. We have started with two DNA molecules. They are recombined with itself, and, and then then all these things are happening. Then then those strand invasion, then branch migration. And finally, it's the time to resolve those strands. Resolve the strands from the holiday junction where we are having a four uh, four uh, uh, region, uh, four DNA uh, region. So at, at a point, and from that point we can have cleavage. Now this cleavage are important. Now in this case, in in case of this DSB repair model, we are seeing uh, there are two different spots uh, for the cleavage, and these two spots are really important. You need to cleave this from two different spots instead of one different spot. Okay, that that are really really important again. Okay, now if we uh, if we think about uh, the differences between DSB and the holiday junction model, in the holiday junction model we have only one po one site or one spot for doing this, right? Now if we look at here, if we cleave this DNA sequence from uh, uh, I, uh, either from this second place or from this uh, first place for example so cleave it from second place in both of the ways or cleave it from uh, first place or both of the ways it will produce a product like this in in this kind of products we will find one of the DNA which is having one conserved DNA strand that's why you again call them the non crossover products again so if we res resolve uh, from the side 2 uh, in both the case or the forms uh, from the site one in both the cases will produce a non crossover product okay but if we cleave uh, or if we resolve uh, one end from one and another end from two or one end from two another end from one will generate uh, uh, the crossover products that means in this kind of products there will be no conserved DNA strands in any of these DNAs right so this is another important step so if we are having uh, the same site cleavage at two or one will produce non crossover which is denoting here if we cleave at uh, from uh, in different sites like one or two or two or one will produce this crossover products okay so these are the steps of uh, the recombination stage or what we can say the DSB model and this DSB model is really important because this DSB model is actually helping the DNA uh, at, at the end to produce uh, the right type of DNA segment and to repair the double stranded breaks between itself and this kind of uh, DNA uh, repair model is also important to have a shuffle between the DNA segments or DNA elements uh, on, on into them and, and this shuffling is really giving them the the window of keeping the variety alive okay so that uh, for example if, if you see it starts with capsa capsa and small a small a in the two different DNAs at the end of this crossover products it will produce small a 
caps b and then caps a small b so this is the variation this is the heterozygous which is generating right after the crossover product generation via this dsb model but if it generates via this non crossover products we can see whatever recombination is happen but at the end of the day chromosome a is getting caps a caps b chromosome b is getting small a small b which were which were at the, uh, uh, like the same uh, we have started with but in this case we are not having the what we have started with we are making something difference that's why these are uh, really account for uh, they are called the crossovers okay so that's it and i hope it will help you to understand thank you